Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some of the new Dina Wakeley August release and doing some really simple collages on denim. So denim is one of my favourite substrates to work on. I don't know why, um, well probably because I live in denim, I wear jeans all the time and so I'm at work, but I think it's because I'm a blue person so I don't find the blue as um, confronting as a white page. I think because it's already got colour on it so it's not an issue. So for this page, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I knew I needed to use bright colours because I wasn't in a very bright mood. So I thought if I use bright colours, that might help. Usually when I work on denim, especially if I'm using bright colours, I actually gesso it first. So you've got that pop of white underneath and it really makes the colours um, stand out on the page. But for this, I didn't and it worked okay so you don't necessarily have to use gesso all the time it did take a little you can see me scrubbing at the page a little bit so it did take a little bit longer to actually move the colors where i wanted to do to sorry it also sank into the material or the fabric a little bit um, faster as well which you know you can un totally understand as i don't have the gesso layer there to protect it so on this page so far I've used lemon, lime, sky, tangerine and this is fuchsia and then I'm going to mix in I think some carnation which is this lighter colour and I chose to put that near the fuchsia so I could blend the two together and get sort of that beautiful magenta-y colour coming out from it which I really like. Um, <clears throat> I keep a tub of water off to the side of my desk and I find that having my paper towel next to me when I'm cleaning off my brush is really handy especially if I'm because I like to work very quickly I don't I don't mess about cleaning my brushes very often <laughs> so um, if I can do it quickly that really helps so I'm going in now and I just want to add a little bit of extra interest to the page so I'm going in with some of the new collage that um, more words collage tissue which um, is beautiful. I love having text on my pages. So being able to add extra um, acemic writing onto my page is really a bonus. I just tore out little bits. I wasn't wanting to put too much on and I chose to actually sort of put them in a triangle shape. So covering over the green, just to blend it in a little bit. And then I've got that little bit going down the middle. So while I was doing that, I was like, I really like that, but I need something to help pop this out from the background. So I broke out my white paint and one of my favourite new stencils. This is Flourish again. If you've been watching these videos for a little while. You can see I really love this stencil. Um, yeah, and I'm just sort of putting it down the middle. Now, one of the things I've said in the other videos is I like the design of it. I love how it flows across the page, sort of going from that big to small. It just... You know, just by moving it round in different random ways, you can get a really cool effect. So I actually just really like that as it was, but it did need something sort of over in that left-hand corner. So again, this is all about my favourites. This page, I went back to my favourites. So I love this new stamp set, which is called Change. <clears throat> it's got these beautiful scribbly figures on them. They're really, really easy to cut out. They're really sort of abstracty, so you can do anything you want to them. You can change them in any way, shape, or form. So, and it's a really easy way to sort of get a quick um, figure on your page without having to worry out about it too much. So for this, I am just using my Stipula All Pencil and doing some really quick sketches over the figure. And then I will water activate that and get this sort of beautiful shadowed wash from it without having to do very much work now <clears throat> it, I actually worked out by this stage how to get the stipulo just kind of move where I wanted it to without um, just getting it soaked straight into the cardboard which was to actually put some clean water onto the cardboard and then let the stipulo float out into it it still kind of gave me a mid-tone all over but it ended up being better than I expected. So um, play around with it. Obviously, I'm just using, this is digital printer cardboard for a laser printer. Um, it's beautiful to stamp on. It's really, really smooth, but it's not great for watercoloring on. So um, if you've got something that would work with watercolor much better, try use that instead, perhaps. 
So I decided that I needed to do a little bit of journaling on this page. So I got out again my Stabilo. I was going to use my paint pen, which is what I usually journal with, but it was just, it was very black and it would have looked odd on this page. So I wanted um, to be a little bit softer and I used the Stabilo All Pencil. I knew this was going to be my last layer. I wasn't going to activate this um, with water, um, so it would be okay. I'm just gluing it down onto my page. And I found this quote chip from the Tim Holtz, I think it's from this Halloween, a lot of quotes. And it said, lost in the darkness, because I was feeling a little bit lost this night. Um, unfortunately, my wonderful glue pens that I usually use, I have run out of. They've, they're all empty, so I need to do another big restock of them. But the, the glue that I was using just wasn't cutting it. So um, you can see me trying to weight it and trying to press it down and it just wasn't working for me. So I end up getting the red liner tape out, um, which is really, really extra sticky double-sided tape. And that does the job. I love this tape, um, but I don't have nails. So getting the backing off is really tricky for me. So I end up having to use my craft knife to sort of pick the back off. So if you've got any tips or tricks to how to do that better than using your craft knife, that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, so with the quote, I had lost in the darkness, but then I decided I needed to make it more positive because I wasn't feeling brilliant this day um, and I needed to sort of focus on the positives. So it was um, lost in the darkness, together we can do so much. So, you know, yes, it's okay to feel like that, but together we can sort it out, together we can do this together together we can maybe come up with a solution to it. So when I'd finished that I decided there was just one or two areas on my page that needed a little bit more text. So I just got out my um, stamp and stamped some in the background. You can see the difference between the tissue writing and the stamped writing but just that subtle little bit of texture in the background just added to it somewhat. This is a close-up of the final page. I really liked it. I liked the contrast between the monochrome in the foreground and the bright colours in the background. And it made me think a lot while I was doing this page and reflect on how I was feeling and how that was translating onto the page. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and until next time, bye for now.